one of the greatest advertising icons. It's really about what the work does. This guy had more impact on the 20th century than anybody if I else. Think about the heyday. They're still moving product off the shelves now. We had a mantra, which was tell them quick and tell them often. We get this works, but why does it work? Why Chicago? Chicago is the city that America creates when it turns its back on the old world. Chicago, the most American of American cities. It's just constant incoming of new people. African Americans in the South saw Chicago as the land of milk and honey. You could do anything you wanted in Chicago because nobody was here to tell you not to do it. And it ends up becoming America's wonder city, maybe the world's wonder city. A city of beauty, strength, and power. Chicago, commercial capital of the nation. I mean, some of the important movements in advertising really came from Chicago. The Johnson Wax Program with Fibber McGee and Molly. A lot of products can actually changed how people lived. Certainly, whenever anybody had a breakthrough, the rest of the industry would shake their heads ruefully and say, I wish I had thought of that. But if you tell the story first, it's your story. The two great figures in Chicago advertising are Albert Lasker and Leo Burnett. Lord and Thomas, under Lasker, defined the modern ad agency. Leo believed every one of our clients deserved its own personality. Nowadays, to sell, we have to build a true emotional connection between our consumers and our clients' brands. If I'd had this idea myself and wrote it out, it wouldn't have gotten off the ground. What's up? What's, What's, up? Up? What's, up? What's up? Hello? <laughs> I wanted us to be doing work that people talked about, that people like seeing, you know, that they told their friends about. Does advertising follow the popular culture or does it create culture? They're stepping and doing all these stuff. America hadn't seen anything like that before, but we have. One of the mantras of the agency starting out was black people are not dark skinned white people. What we did is we convinced McDonald's that if we were given the opportunity to do television, it would turn on the white consumer while it was turning on the black consumer. They had never seen themselves projected in media in a positive, realistic way. It's a great reminder of how the things that we create can have incredible meaning. There's a difference between creating a buzz and creating a brand. Contact and connection an algorithm and a human insight. And there's a big difference between big data and a big idea.